YouTube. I'm back again. It's been 30 seconds since my last video. I just can't get enough of you folks. There's a Q-tip. Got two types of CA here. Uh, this is medium thickness. This is thin thickness. It's called no odor or low odor. And what it is is a foam safe product, which which is why it's it's odorless is what it's actually called. Instacure medium, odorless, instacure. And this is supposed to say thin, but it's covered up by the stupid hobby town or whatever it is label. I wanted to show you something about this nose cone, okay? You can see I got a little ding on there. That's from the crash damage earlier. I'm going to show you a little trick I've learned from many, many moons. Many, many moons ago. If you just take a look at that and you say, boy, that looks crappy. I agree. Take this. Now. You guys need to be remembering that this is a prop and it does spin at a high rate and if it's not balanced it will make noise and it will be a problem for you and you will be very disappointed in yourself for doing something stupid like what I'm about to do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it so you don't have those things. Um, I hope. <laughs> okay, so what's going to happen? You're going to take this, you're going to drip it. Okay, I'm going to pause it and get this nozzle clean. See, I was just talking about nozzles getting clogged. Okay, guys. We're back with the glue. Got the nozzle cleaned. Count your drips. There's one drip, two drips, three drips, four, five, six. Very small drips, okay? Now, the reason you're counting your drips is you're going to just kind of try to spread those drips. And then if you have to go to the other side, you can kind of keep track of approximately how much you did. Okay, so we're going to go to the other side. We're going to do about the same. So we're going to go for five or six small drips. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. This side doesn't have any voids, so I'm less concerned about this side. But what this is going to do is it's just going to reinforce the tip of this. Now, just so you understand, one side effect of doing this is that um, obviously you're, you're gaining a little bit of weight. No big deal. Um, not not this amount, but the thing is it will make the tip a little bit harder so that You know when you do have a crash damage in the future. It may be a little bit more aggressive Okay, so just understand that in doing this um, You might be signing up for a little bit of trouble Okay, I'm gonna do some more drips. There's one drip a little bit bigger drip and then there's one drip up here There's a little ding up there so now I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to work it back and forth and spread it somewhat. This is medium CA, so it's going to it's going to sort of fill some of the voids, but we haven't even got to the part where it matters, okay? So basically, at this point, let that set for just a second. Get your tips cleaned off, get your caps reapplied, get all the crap out of the way, and then you're going to do kicker. Now watch, the silver is going to run probably, so just be prepared for it. There's one spritz in two spots, one spritz in two spots there. Okay, let it set for a second. That's probably all we need to do for a minute. So I'm just going to throw stuff away, let it set. Usually takes just a second or two. Grossly lick your finger and then spread the stuff. If it's, if it's, if it's nasty to you, it's nasty to me, trust me. I'm a germaphobe, I don't like doing gross things. Um, but what that does is it keeps the CA from sticking to your fingertip and then wipe it off and clean it later and you know all those things. So anyway, you got that clean. Then, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your awesome tester's paint. You've trained me well, YouTube. Then you're gonna take this thing, you're gonna hold it up to the camera <laughs> and you're gonna say, all right, what's the part number? There it is. There it is. This one is, that's the part number there. Pause it if you need to. Just going to rotate it. This is Tester's Enamel. You can get this at any of your local hobby shops, I think around the world, really. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to pop that open. This one's going to be sitting for a minute because we're doing a couple of different videos this, this afternoon. It's beautiful weather kind of freaking out because I want to get some videos in today and I love flying and it's been crappy so I'm like I need to fly right now so it kills me to do a little video like this but anyway so get your q-tip touch up the areas that had been screwed up and you remember you're not trying to like paint this thing like you know you're trying to protect the, the finish of the 
um, steel or something like that. You're just trying to cover it up a little bit because you won't even notice now. The damage will be obstructed better. Look, guys, look how much better that looks. Just that little teeny bit of uh, maintenance, if you want to call it. And you're ready to rock and roll. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can fix all your nose cones following my instructions.